Uh, we're always delighted to start our programs with a poem. And we have a favorite poet who comes to share his wonderful work with us. And his name is Steve Cohen. Slipped was to vanish 
into the icy hell of that river. Then the ones who watched, horrified, would clutch one another and wail in that other language of theirs while they kept moving. What else could they do? For what it was worth, those who fell through saved the lives of those inching behind them, letting them know where not to step next. Jerry, you saved my life in much the same way. Now and again in my mind, that awful black limo pulls up to the curb in front of our house back in Flatbush. And Henrietta, your mother, steps out, gone to death in that black cotton shawl while I walk from an upstairs window. At which moment, my own beloved mother slips into the room lays a hand on my arm and tells me quietly, lest I say the wrong thing, when her dearest friend steps through the door, what she had hoped never to have to tell me at all, that you had been killed at the front. I was 12. 40 years later, I remained stunned. Now and again, something triggers it back, and I drift out to Kelly Park and watch you fast break down court. That long, floating jump from the corner, the swish of the net. Jerry, I don't know you care, but when my number came up for the next imperial bloodbath, I gave my draft board the finger for us both. And for every last terrified soul on both sides, I can't tell you how grieved I am still that you're gone. Or thank you enough for the warning. Your death letting me know where I stand, who my real enemies are, what the heavy money had in store for me too. In a way then, I owe you my life. More than anyone else, you were the one who showed me where not to step next. The one up ahead in the bitter wind of the past who fell through. Thank you.